Well, there's a lot of movement towards doing something with the Pillsbury Mills location and the private nonprofit group that has taken that over, has uh, shown the public what's going on out there, and now they're lining up some funds to take care of it. Chris Richmond with Moving Pillsbury Forward joins us here with WMAY. Uh, Chris, thanks for taking time, and uh, let's get to it. What are you guys expecting to do, and tell us about some of the funds you're getting. Right. We've, uh, we, we just had the announcement, $2 million in congressionally directed funds coming our way. Uh, we're looking to do large-scale remediation and demolition activities at the site in, it, in the coming year. Yeah, we saw this uh, being floated several weeks ago, and when I looked at uh, the list of uh, Illinois and all the different projects that they were getting, uh, there it was right there. Senator Durbin, Senator Duckworth were able to line up these dollars uh, to, to get for the Pillsbury Mills location $2 million. Chris, that's nothing right. to sneeze at. That's real money you guys are going to be able to do some things with. What is it uh, you guys have uh, allocated to? to work on right it, it, it is very real money uh, large-scale demolition and, and remediation activities can take place with uh, with this amount of money we are working right now with our our engineers as well as several uh, demolition contractors and specialists uh, to come up with the very best approach as to how to attack the larger buildings at Pillsbury and perhaps even those silos that are the big challenge. Now, you've done already some some investigation and uh, some testing and had uh, environmental concerns addressed to a degree. Um, and, and this really is like moving forward what, what a future project could be on that property, uh, there were concerns yeah. about maybe some some asbestos leakage into the ground or some other contaminants that may have been into the ground. Um, talk about where we're at with that, the outcome of that uh, that that research, and how this next phase of de- demolition could open the door for uh, a, a sustainable project there. Right. We we knew the first step last year. We had to do the environmental analysis to make sure that the ground was not grossly contaminated and, and problematic. Once we got the results back and we found out that the ground essentially was not a problem, uh, it's got very little contamination, and that contamination that's there can be dealt with relatively easily, we were able to switch uh, and pivot quickly to looking at demolition of buildings. Uh, so that certainly is our focus at this point. And in 2023, what you're going to see at the Pillsbury site is large-scale demolition activities. And we're going to follow that up. We've been working with Brownfield Redevelopment Specialists. Uh, We've been working with US EPA and and a lot of their technical assistants and consultants. And by the end of February, we should have some deliverables. We're, right now, we're aimed at light industrial. We believe we can put a 250,000 square foot uh, light industrial site on the 18 acres once it's cleared and provide some jobs for the area. That's what we're aimed at. And again, uh, this uh, is just one of major steps that you guys have taken with moving Pillsbury forward. Uh, and the organization came together after years years, Chris, of people wondering what's going to happen with this. Talk about the drive that the community had to get to this point, because this is huge. Two million dollars in grants coming from the federal government uh, to this area to deal with uh, major uh, demolition. Uh, It's been it's been quite a, a long road for you guys. Uh, you're absolutely correct. It's It's been a long time coming for Pillsbury. Of course, the community came together in 2005 and uh, had a brainstorming session at, at that time when Cargill was, was uh, considering selling it and, and what to do with the property. Uh, many years, uh, you know, 2008, after that, sold for scrap, tied up in, in just a legal mess for uh, nearly eight years. Um, untying that legal knot, uh, you know, it was our primary focus on the front end of this uh, adventure that we're on. And uh, we're just thankful uh, to be at this point where that legal knot's untied. Uh, we've cleaned up much of the, the mess that was created during the scrap era. And now we're moving on toward large-scale demolition. And that means that uh, we could see a lot of movement. Uh, and again, you, you're talking uh, here in just the next couple of months after you get uh, the contractors in line. Uh, people are going to start seeing a, a major change on the, the landscape there. Absolutely, absolutely, and we've we've got volunteers out there every day, uh, continuing to do small scale activities. Uh, but we very much are are we've got the the table set, 
and we're ready to uh, do those large-scale demolition activities. Chris Richmond, he is with Moving Pillsbury Forward. And Chris, for people just now tuning in, let's wrap it up with an overview of the big news. Overview of the big news, $2 million coming out of Washington, D.C. Uh, in the budget. That's helping Moving Pillsbury Forward leverage state and local dollars. We know we need those to do the large-scale demolition and revitalize that 18-acre site. So it's going to be uh, a lot of moving pieces, and we'll be uh, uh, talking with Chris all throughout the process uh, to get the very latest. So I appreciate you keeping us posted on it. Always glad to do so. It is Springfield's Morning News on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's News and Talk, now 833.